as you see, I just got back from Burger King where I got this crown. Um, I'm not certain if they're just giving out this crown when you purchase something or whether you give to the charity. They asked if I wanted to give a dollar to charity. I said, sure. And when she gave me the crown, I think she said, you rule. I thought that's what she said. Here's your crown, you rule. But I had to go and try their new uh, Italian royal chicken sandwich. And I went all out. I got uh, fries, onion rings, mozzarella sticks. The onion rings smell so good. Oh, and I wasn't certain what I was going to get with the uh, mozzarella because I never ordered them before from, I guess it's standard to get marinara. So I got marinara. sour sauce. Must have got thrown in by accident. What do they put sweet and sour sauce on in Burger King? Oh no, 
crispy chicken. I was going to say, wait a minute. I can actually smell lettuce. Well, the bun, very shiny. Nice. It's got a nice bun on that. You know what, when she ordered, she said, wait a minute, uh, you know, I want to ask for the uh, onion rings and uh, the fries. associate with this sandwich. It's probably not a good idea to go out in the car after 
once again you get burned. I know. I know what people are going to say in the comments. But I guess I, if I looked at the receipt, I, you can't tell by the receipt either. Remember, I went to Popeyes once, and then they're like, well, they never changed the system. I ordered something. But it came up at something else on the receipt, and they said, oh, that's just the way it is. So. I thought, well, that seems like a really good idea. Um, I have a Burger King. Because you already have the chicken sandwich. You don't want to venture. I mean, they're not a sub shop. But they've got the chicken sandwich. And all they have to do is put a cheese and tomato sauce and have a chicken parm sandwich. But you saw that. There was whatever they they put on that sandwich just got uh, soaked into the bun and the cheese is just uh, coagulated and melted onto the bun you gave it separated but Would it 
be good if they even on the uh, the Italian royal they put tomato and lettuce on it too I think I just got uh, a taste of the sauce in the middle of the bun and it's different than the marinara marinara is cold too but yeah it's funny because just another example if you go to the Burger King website they show the sandwich and the sauce is just oozing out of the sides so I couldn't remember. I do that every year. At the end of the year, when the next season rolls around, I can't remember if I changed the oil at the end of the season or not. should write it on a piece of tape and put that on the snowblower. to grow. 
grocery store, went into the grocery store on Wednesday, and the cookie aisle was bare. Just these obscure cookie varieties were on the shelf. But specifically, I was looking for Stella Doro. Unless they moved it to another aisle. I don't think they carry Stella Doro anymore. Maybe it's too old-fashioned or something. I like Stella Doro. And I said toast, sponge cake. And then those, I know what they call them, lady fingers or something like that. They come in chocolate and vanilla. You can get solid packages or you can get a mixed variety, I think. Variety pack. So yeah, I mean, it's a good concept to deal with, uh, to add uh, something on the menu using products you already have. Um, but they didn't, they didn't follow through. They didn't execute it. So, on to my... I'll use this one. I think I got a uh, somewhere. I guess I'll just use the spoon. So that was the Burger King Italian Royal chicken sandwich, crispy chicken. I don't know why they just don't call it chicken parm. Boy, 
this supply chain thing. Some some weird things happening with products. I bought a package of those lady fingers. I rediscovered those, you know, with the they got the vanilla filling inside. There's two uh, vanilla wafer cookies and then the the vanilla cream on the inside. Sandwiched together, you know, like an Oreo. But uh, yeah, I discovered that they're uh, rediscovered the really good dunking cookie in tea. I could eat a whole package. But anyways, I got a package and a good amount of the cookies. The the uh, cookie was put on backwards, so they were upside. So the the outside was facing the cream. The machine had flipped the wafer, and then I bought. There was no. Uh, Wednesday there was no cookies but they did have I'm surprised I mean I like fig newtons but I guess they're not that popular there was plenty of fig newtons on the shelf so I got a package of fig newtons and they changed the packaging where they have this uh, it's all that plastic cover now uh, over the uh, plastic um, container that the cookies in and then you, when you go, you pick up the tab, you go to pull it, it has sort of, uh, it's sort of elastic -y. It, it It has a certain give to it, and then it breaks. And then they have, like, sticky, a sticky glue around the perimeter of the flap, so you can reseal it. Well, I go to open it, and it just opened up, like, I, I, I took a double take real quick, because I thought someone had, I just, I thought I had opened oh, up bought a package that somebody had already opened in the store and stole some cookies out of but then I looked at it and those two tabs are usually a little bit of uh, they have a lot more uh, strength to them before they break those initial tabs that you break um, I guess they, you know I guess this sort of an indication of uh, you know, whether someone has broken into it or not, containment. Um, but when I go to put the flap back down, it's hardly sticky at all. So someone, someone didn't adjust the machine properly. Or they had to change the formula, maybe they had to water it down because of limited resources. They had to stretch the supply that they had for whatever that that glue substance is. Oh man, this just goes goes too fast, too quick. Something. 
no buzz to it. You know, it just, it was just perfect. I said, oh, this is going to go good. Little did I know, half down here, one dollar donation, McLemore, Mc, McLemore, fundraiser, I, I must be messing that up, that's not a familiar charity to me, M-C-L-A-M-O-R-E, I don't know, I, 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 uh, they have the Salvation Army already in front of the grocery store. So I've given them a couple of bucks each time that I've gone through, twice now. And uh, at the grocery store since they've shown up. But they used to always say, do you, you know, you used to go through the checkout and they go, do you want to contribute to the Tom Brady charity? And I, I always said no. I'm like, so I give money and then this guy has a, a big fundraiser uh, award ceremony where they give him an award praising him for his charity efforts. Why doesn't he just give out his own money? Well, lo and behold, I found, <laughs> I didn't read the whole article. Evidently, the money for this Tom Brady uh, charity um, yeah, a lot of the money, or most of it, that's how all these charities work. Most of the money goes toward administration, people's salaries, and the money that gets distributed is a small fraction. And then they get on top of that, they get all these tax breaks, you know. They get the, whatever the, whatever their, um, the IRS uh, benefits are for running a charity, you know. All these people do that. They, they, they set up these charities. And uh, they get these uh, uh, elaborate salaries. And very little of the money actually goes to what they suppose the charity is for. Well, that's... Now, oh, that's the $27 one. So in this here, she pressed the wrong button and gave me, ordered a crispy chicken. And of course, the person that's filling the orders, they're just looking at the screen. Um, and they see crispy chicken sandwich, you know. And this one here actually says crispy Italian. So thanks everyone for stopping by, watch another one of my videos, watching me mess up another order. I told them I wanted the new um, Chicken Royale. They got it right there on the on the marquee on the menu, prominently displayed. I don't know when they came out with this. I just happened to catch. I actually saw. I was watching a YouTube video, and the the commercial came up for the Burger King set. This new Burger King sandwich. Well, thanks again, everyone. Thank you for your comments. Your continued support. Um, Thanks to all my PayPal contributors, and thanks for using the Amazon affiliate link in the description to make any of your purchases. <clears throat> now that uh, Christmas is coming up, I already I already saw a, uh, a headline about uh, uh, Black Friday. Uh, sales were not what they expected. Really? What a surprise. I don't know. They... they th yeah, so thanks for using the Amazon affiliate link to make any of your purchases. It's the best uh, way to help support the channel uh, other than watching the video. And uh, no additional cost to you. I just get a commission. Uh, when
many of you use that link to get over to Amazon and you follow through with your shopping cart and make a purchase. So I really appreciate that. So till next video everyone, thanks for, thanks for watching. That was weird. It's like my heart skipped a beat or something. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone.